I'd say go for it. As we define procurement now, it's ripe for automation. But the key parts of procurement are not being automated away at all. The key parts of procurement are around working with suppliers, negotiation, collaboration, innovation. A lot of that is highly creative and face-to-face. -face. Skills that we're going to need are going to be much more relationship-based. So how do we engage with our stakeholders? How do we engage with our suppliers in a far different way than we have done before when actually the majority of that process is actually done by, by technology? I think that traditional activity that we've been involved in that has been somewhat transactional in nature uh, will um, be automated. Uh, there will be new technologies that emerge. Um, a lot of uh, robotic process automation and, and, um, and technology that we can leverage. I'd suggest to them that it's not possible to automate the entire function. I think it's entirely possible today and into the future to move a lot of what we see as procurement work today into automated processes. But I don't think you're ever going to have automated processes that produce the relationships that occur between people. To somebody who wants to automate the entire procurement function, I suggest they haven't worked in it. They don't understand it. They're still thinking about that transactional layer. Yeah, fine. The transactional stuff, that bottom left hand Crowdrick stuff, yeah, automate it, no problem. But the minute humans are involved, I think that's a bit of an over, uh, over ambitious. So I think you really need to maintain the, the thinking and, the, and, and some of that is, is task management within your own function and try and automate the, the, the process, it's the tasks themselves but don't outsource the tasks because they are the source of your actual knowledge of the business. Uh, so we've actually done the analysis looking at uh, what a procurement function currently does. Um, and we broke down you know, the source to pay uh, activities into about 220 different tasks and said, what can be automated, what can't be automated. And more than half of the tasks can be automated with this technology. I think if you fast forward 10 years, even more can be done, so probably 80, 90% of it. Um, but you need to keep in mind that does not mean that a machine is running your procurement function. I think the human involvement is still important in some ways becomes even more important in how you manage the uh, automated setup. I would say that's a great objective. I'd say it will be very challenging. I think it is possible and procurement, as we all know, follow a lot of rules. So it can be codified and it can be automated, but it's very complex. It will take time and take a lot of attention to detail. I would say good on you. I would say look at the journey and map out how far you can go on your automation journey. Now McKinsey have just told us that they think in five years time 50% of the source to pay process will be automated. Others are saying 80 or 90. But I think what we have to do right now is actually map it out and consider how far we can go. If it can be done, then yes, why not? You know, change will happen. You know, if it can be done and it delivers the business benefits, then I don't think there's a problem with that. Ch things will change. I think with the advent of things like Watson, the IBM's Watson, that we'll be able to get some better smarts, you know, computer-driven smarts, but I still think there's a key role for human intervention um, in certain parts of the process. I think in the end, procurement, in, in, to be strategic, is about human, about humans, it's about customer experience, um, human-centered design, understanding how we can make the journey that people take on a daily basis with procurement easier. You should go you know, in parallel. You should have, you know, utilize as much of the technology as possible, and that frees up your time to do some really strategic um, relationship stakeholder management within your organization. It will change. It will change dramatically, but there'll still be a need for us. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's great.